Um, uh, the the uh, cavalry would ride up to the champagne house to pick up more champagne, and as they were riding away, they would cut the tops off the bottle to try to impress the 23-year-old woman that now owns the Coco. So, there's... Uh, I don't recommend you trying this at home. However, if you feel the need to, there is a uh, there's a couple tricks. First of all, you got to make sure it's really cold, and that's the one thing I'm actually worried about switching to this one rather than the one I just had. It may not be cold enough, but we're gonna give it a shot. Um, every bottle of champagne has three seams on it: it's a seam that goes up one side, a seam that goes up the other side, and then a seam right around the neck. Now. The neck is the weakest spot on the bottle, and every bottle of champagne, considering the fact that it's under 90 pounds per square inch pressure in there, once you weaken up one spot of it, it's just a chain reaction, the entire top comes flying off. So we're going to give this a shot. Hopefully it works, even though it's not as cold as it should oh, oh. be. <clears throat> and this is uh, this this goes back to the 1820s, so. Hopefully it still works even though it's not cold. Oh! Viva la France! There you go. So let's, uh, let's drink some bubbly. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Oh, I have my glass already here. Oh, beautiful! <laughs>